Oh, oh, by the way, um, since it's 2022, you have to do something extra for the little, um, your little bit. You gotta do, you gotta give what you, you want me to do? Make a, you make do a, a trumpet sound while rubbing what? on my what? nipples? Like, what, what, what's extra? What more do you want from me? Little sax this time, Dante. How about oh, that? Jesus Christ. What would be the be... different? What would be the difference why? in sound there? How do you oh, sax, sax, sax got a little extra to it. Yeah, got a little no, bit sax. Of I said it. sax. I know. I'll put a little extra. Put a little extra funk on it. Okay. Yeah, a little, a little. It's a funk saxophone. On. What do you mean? It sounds nothing like a yeah. trumpet. Dante. I don't know. Dante, put that yeah, stank on. You know how we all make like a trumpet on. noise? Have you ever heard a nigga make a sax noise? <laughs> well, you'll yeah, be the first. You will be the first. You, it's a new year. You have to earn that damn contract. So I don't know why you're just. I need you to figure out how to do it. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna start making like little uh, piano key noises. Oh, oh that's dope. <laughs> that nigga, <laughs> nigga Aaron said, if you want that yeah. contract, he's got storage. You, you think all that? You think that and cocaine stopped Scott Storch from being a great producer? No, he did pianos. Yes, they, they made him broke. Mm-hmm. Hey they man, Chad, like you know, Scott Storch, please come on our podcast. You're not broke to us. I literally just said it. I screwed yeah. it up already. I'm sorry. Damn it. All right. Just do your goddamn. Oh, wait, Malik and uh, Darren, are you guys feeling okay? <laughs> Doing good. Okay. Man. Doing good. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm I didn't good, admit to ask that. That's that's important. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah, sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone is having has. Uh, I went to a basketball game last Saturday, so like I'm pretty sure I was in contact with. Uh, what are we on? Is it Omnic? Omnic? I can't keep up. Whatever. Whatever, Omar, yeah, whatever the variant. Omar, Omar, Omar. Yeah. Yeah, Omicron. Blue Every time you leave your house, man, it's just you know, just you and uh, Omicron. He's just like standing there, and you still look at him, and be like, "Hey, what's up, bro?" Yeah, yeah he literally in the alley like, looking at you. Like, all right, yeah. cool. I saw, I saw a meme the other day of like Tom and Jerry, and like Jerry was like humans, and Tom was COVID, and like Tom was just poking Jerry, and Jerry was just like just taking it. He was like, "All right, man. At this point, hey, you got it, man. Like, hey, you got it, bro. You know that." Yeah. Okay, you know, we've been trying to give you rope you know, give you some time to get the saxophone. Oh, going. I didn't know you wanted me to start. Damn, I thought you were in conversation. You asked everybody how they were doing. My bad. I got you. I got you. Ding 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 ding. Oh, I like made that it shit. Into, made it into the triangle, like bro. Made it into a triangle. He told me I can't do my same thing. Uh, he made me ruin it. Right I'll give it a seven. Bro. Hey, I had, I had a sound. I had a bit, and this man took it away from me. No, I, I just asked for a little know, bit man. more. What are we giving? What are we adding new for 2022? Sometimes you don't have this. Sometimes you, you got to add. You got to put like, nah, he need to hit it with the bing bong, and then he need to do it. Yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> like, yeah. We ain't in New York. I mean, <laughs> we just be lying. We be frauds. I'm about to say, we just going to change our name to the Temptations, nigga. We just going to go all New York. Big <laughs> 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 okay. hilarious. All our lawyers yes, have to be hold dead. On to that. All our lawyers have to be dead at this point. They're all dead, right? We're definitely going to have to have a Oh, you said take the Temptations name? For sure. Oh, that's what you said. I thought oh, you said Tim. Temptation. Tim, New York, like Joe. Tim's, Tim, like Tim's. Tim. That's Tim. actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm about to say this man saying back my own joke. God dang, Aaron. bro. I'm sorry. I thought you meant Tim. Just say fucking it. Should be the Temptations. What? What are they gonna do? They gonna fight oh us? no, Otis still alive. Otis still alive. How? He's three hundred. Otis, Otis is Otis sold all of their souls so that he could live, bro. Mm, did you not yeah, see the movie? He did. I'm planning on doing the same. All thing. of them died except him. Uh, I feel like we debate. We've never okay. We've never debated episode. Or about, maybe every like, other episode. Killing Otis. How he fell in the oven and died. Yeah, that was the other guy. We talk about the oven every time. Yeah, that's blue. Yeah, blue. Yeah, you blue. brought it blue. up. Nobody yeah. was talking about that. No, oh, damn it. God damn it. Okay, now take. Go ahead and do your bit. You're not doing and this again. Just it. <laughs> yeah, you did. No one's talking about. I didn't blue. bring it up. We we talk about the temptations. And, and we talk about Otis. Otis. Talking about Otis. Different. Oh, yeah. uh, fair, fair. I'm sorry, Malik. I tried to help you. All right, we're gonna bring this trumpet noise in. Beep, 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 beep. And the wind is home. I'll get started. Uh, Yo, uh, the first toast for 2022. Uh, a toast to Betty White. I'm gonna start with that one. Thank you for being a friend. Uh, you know, uh, Betty White passed away. Uh, on the la- was it was it the last day of 2021? Was it December 31st? I think, I think so. Oh, yeah. Or the thirtieth. No, I think I think she passed away. Oh, okay. I think one yeah, broke that. Thirtieth. Yeah, she 31st. passed away. Yeah, passed away at the tail end of last year. Uh, yeah. Betty White, known for being in multiple television shows, movies, everything. Uh, you know, 
my mom always watched the Golden Girls when I was a kid. So I ended up like watching it with her because I was sitting in the room. And so that's where I was introduced to Betty White. Uh, yeah. So, you know, she was a hilarious woman and, you know, she almost made it to 100 years old. So uh, definitely a shout out to her and her longevity kind of made the year end on a very depressing note because, you know, every other week on Twitter it would say uh, on this morning, Betty White silently woke up and thank God for another day of life or something like that. And then, uh, you know, this time it wasn't that positive. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, RIP to her, and uh, you know, thanks for being a friend, thank you for the memories. Love it, yeah. No, I, I mean, look, uh, oh, sorry, no, go ahead, Aaron. Uh, yeah, um, RIP Betty White, yeah. I mean, you live 99 years, so I think that's just, that's I mean, a hell of a life. I think that's a hell of a life, so I think the same way I felt when my grandma mm-hmm. passed away at 99, like. Like, I can't be sad about that. I will hope my life is half. I mean, especially Betty White. Everybody loves Betty White. Like, right. I've never seen anybody say anything bad about Betty White. She, mm. she uh, transcends uh, gender, race, ideology. You know, mm-hmm. I love the uh, Golden Girls, one of my favorite shows ever. Like, it's like a brilliant show if you actually sit down and watch it. Yeah. Oh, that's nigga. She's good at everything. Yeah. <laughs> like, right Betty White and, like, The Rock. And I'm trying to think of someone else who's just universally, like, just everybody loves them. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Betty White, man. Love, I can't yeah. imagine, you know. Uh, oh, that's it. Really, like really, that. really not so many part. people. Nobody, like that. Morgan but Freeman. Really really like Morgan Freeman is one. Yep. Protect Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we don't know how old Morgan Freeman is because yeah. he done looked eighty for the last like twenty years. I'm about to say. <laughs> I gotta Google this. Actually. What's Darth uh, Darth Vader's voice name again? Oh, oh, Mark James Earl Jones. Yeah. Oh, James Earl Jones. Yeah, him too. Yeah, him too. Yeah, well, everybody loves him. Uh, Margaret Freeman is eighty-four. Wow, he's older than I thought. That's it. <laughs> I mean, that's the, what do you mean? You thought he was older than that? I don't think yes, he looked eighty-four for a long time. Bro, when he was in Driving Miss Daisy, uh, he looked like he was mid seventies. Oh, Sam, come on! Uh, I think Dude, he looks good for eighty-four, but again, these are old pictures. Young. He <laughs> looked old and lean on me too, like, and that was a long time ago. Why are you look old? All right, but I feel like he looked that same age. He's like, oh. Um, uh, he, he looked Twilight, good for his age. When like the vampires have been alive the whole time. Uh, that's what he so you're like. saying he, he got you saying he got bit age. he got bit at eighty, and so that's what he just gonna stay at. Got you. No, I just feel like that's, he got bit at like <laughs> that was your vampire <laughs> reference, right? You know yeah, I mean. that's literally the joke. Yeah. I'm going. He with just you. looked his age the entire life. Like I don't know, he's looked the same know, age man. his entire life. Darian was right. He looked old like as hell and lean on Lovecraft Country. How old is dude from Lovecraft Country? He looks like he's 45. He's gonna look 45 his whole life. Oh, Jonathan Majors? Or early 30s. You, yes, you Jonathan Majors, early 30s. 30s. Yeah, you're right. He don't look 45. Or oh, late 20s or something. That's what I'm saying, 30. but he look old. So yeah. He got a mature face, but he don't that look That man do not look like he no 30, bro. Get out of here. Stop it. <laughs> he's 32. Him and Denzel, bro. Both of them look look like they were born. That, okay, like, now, now. Denzel, like Denzel, Denzel look young back Denzel in the day. Denzel has aged. Denzel has age, bro. Nah, Denzel has age. Yeah, he has. Come on, man. No, 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 you just think Jonathan Major look like this man. Jonathan Major look like he gonna have a grandson in like three years, bro. Like, come on, is, right? just stop. Hey, <laughs> Bernice got a grandson. Like, so, you know. like, I'm about to say Bernice got a granddaughter. Baddest grandma. You definitely don't look like Bernice, bro. Like, <laughs> no, but I hope all right, you know. that's, that's all right. I'm not dissing. I'm not dissing Jonathan Major. Shout out to you, like Shout Aaron's you know, ages. medium handsome black man. <laughs> Yeah, mm. no, I'm I'm team medium handsome black man. He's on. He's a key member of our. Oh, team, basically so. team regular black handsome. dude. Got you. I got you. Yes, yes. This nigga. So hold on, Aaron. Did you just call yourself medium? I mean, medium. I think handsome? he did. He said us. Yeah. yeah. He said on your team. Like, this nigga. Uh, I'm, I'm not like, like beautiful. Like, plus like, his team. I'm not beautiful. Bro, you better like, claim um, yourself as beautiful. It's a rena- it's a renaissance. Like, I'm not a young black man out here. Yeah, you love yourself, black king. The women love these. They love themselves, black king. Let women love regular. I'm not beautiful, like, uh, <laughs> <God damn laughs> like, um, nah, like, no, I don't know, to like, turn this like, into a self esteem conversation. Like, nigga. I'm not like a pretty ass nigga with like, I can look like with like a feminine type face. I'm, I'm like manly, that's what I meant. What do you mean? Manly, I'm medium, just gonna say, huh? women like regular niggas. <laughs> Regular niggas are in style Whoa. right now. Damn it. Look, yeah, look well, they, look I, I thought that was at. understood. I was making a job. Well, you, had, you didn't have to bring yourself okay. down to, to, to say that. Oh, my God. Live yourself okay. up, King. Live yourself right. up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, my okay. man said, you I'm are beautiful. I'm going right, to tell you something. Get the next toast. Are we going to put our pronouns in our in in our email addresses next? Like, come on, guys. All right. All right. Whoa. Come on. You guys sound like snowflakes. I mean. Don't you call me no snowflake liberal? 
Snowflake. Don't call me no trigger. Snowflake mouth. All right, who's giving our toast next? I go. Uh, I go next. It's that toxic it's killing me. Inside. Jeez. Agility. I'm gonna get ah. another. Not to shift it, but I'm gonna give another rest in peace um, to Sidney Poitier, who just passed, also on January 6th. Who's a legend in the acting community, first black actor um, to win the Academy Award for Best Actor. So really, mm -hmm. shout out to him. We talked about Denzel. He led the way for actors like Denzel, who then in turn led uh, led the way for actors like Chadwick Boseman and all, all the greats um, that we know. So a lot of them reference him with uh, a lot of respect. Um, he lived to be 94 too, so full life, but still. Um, so it always seems like too soon, I'm, I'm assuming for families and people that was close to him. So really just thoughts and prayers with them and really just salute to him. Salute to a legend. I was going to say him, yeah, but to Sydney Poitier. I, I couldn't think of a Sidney Poitier movie I've actually seen before. So uh, Raising like, in the Sun. I, that's he was in a lot of, he's like in a lot of older movies. Yeah, I'm about to say, I haven't seen any movies. So I probably he was in the original, in movie? The yeah. original yeah. Raising in the Sun. Yeah, I mean, he's not even oh, okay. he was, uh, you know, I think he just got his money and just retired. I'm pretty sure he was like, oops, rich. Oh, man. He was in a lot of movies. I mean, he was like the original like black um lead actor. Lead actor. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say he was the first, but I feel like he was like the first like leading man for like black Damn. actors. And the illustrious mm -hmm. words of young Jesus, Goddamn. Sidney Poitier, what they do. It's at the end of my president is black. Anyway. Continue. Who got next? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, Malik, you wanna give your toast next? <laughs> yeah, man. My uh put my toast. <laughs> it's a little bit more lighter note. Um it's gonna go to Davion Johnson. Uh, if you guys don't know who Davion Johnson is, an 11 year old boy in Oklahoma and saved two lives mm. in one day. Is he bad? How he, how he do it? Yeah. So, so the first one, he was in school and uh, a little boy was choking on a uh, bottle cap and he performed a Heimlich maneuver on him and, and saved his life. And then on his way home, walking, he saved some, fan, uh, <laughs> some people from a burning building. Like, <laughs> Yes. It's, it's, crazy. it's like a movie, right? And then they found out like he was Superman later uh, on in the day. Like, what the hell? <laughs> nah, but seriously, he, he, while he was walking, he helped a disabled woman walking out of her house and um, while her back of her house was on fire. So, like, can I tell you how old is a, he? My cap's off to him. You know what I'm saying? The hell is his parents? He's like, 11 no. years old. <laughs> no, all his family, all yeah. his family need to he like might. look out because you know you don't want to be related to a fame to like a superhero, bro. You uh, you gonna take an L? So yeah, mom and dad should, should watch out. Yeah. His aunts, uncles, grandparents. Yeah, he's a super kid. Super kid. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, he obviously was he, he bit the, by uh, a radioactive spider. He definitely got recognized. Right this? Hmm. Does he have an Aunt May? He might. He might. Shout out to um, No Way Home. Much longer. It's like that. Alert. Shout out to shout out to saving people from a burning building. Like the first one was cool. Like, <laughs> I'm about to say the bottle cap out of somebody. That's cool. <laughs> like who the second one, I wasn't ready day. for the second one. I thought you were gonna say he got a, a, a cat out of a tree or something. No, <laughs> you okay. I thought you were gonna say he did the Hamic maneuver nah. again. Like that was his go-to. Like, like he just keep recessing. Like his grandma choked on her dudes. teeth or something and he got those out. Right. It's like grandma, just come on, this. bro. Dang, you have to this say like twice in one day. Oh, that's it out. Gosh. I'm yeah, That's that all. Sounds, yeah, that's What's it? What did you say his name was um, again? But he's going to be an EMP. Uh, he's a black boy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, really? Yeah, running yeah, running the fires. What? Really. Uh, that that part surprised me. Shout out to Davion. Right, I told those Davion Johnson. <laughs> okay, the next guy, uh, guy I gave my toes, he didn't save anybody. <laughs> he didn't save anybody. He definitely didn't. Good job, Rob. Good luck following this up. Oh god, that was funny. All right, I'm gonna give my um toast to um Glenn Consor, who is um the radio announcer of the Washington Wizards basketball team, local basketball mm -hmm. team. And I mean it's not like a toast because well he did something, but like I kind of like giving him a toast because like I feel like really, really bad for him. So like he's uh usually the radio announcer for the Wizards, uh does like post-game analysis on the radio and you know, it's basketball and like COVID is hurting NBA. So I think uh, one of the M uh, Wizards regular announcers was out. So Glenn filled in for him. So it was a game between the Rockets and the Wizards. And uh, Kevin Porter Jr. played for the Rockets and he made a game winning shot. That's and Glenn Consor made a comment after the shot went in. I think it was something to the effect of, oh, wow, he pulled that trigger just like his dad did. 
Now, on the face of that, like, no one's going to think, oh, that's weird, but there's two parts of the story. So, Kevin Porter Jr., the basketball player playing in this game, his father went to jail for uh, murdering somebody, like, uh, in, like, 1993 for shooting somebody. A and then his dad girl. was actually, yeah, a teenage girl. Then his dad was actually was killed by uh, gun violence 10 years later. So, like, everybody was freaking out on Glenn Consor for saying this, but in reality, Glenn Consor assumed that Kevin Porter Jr.'s dad was Kevin Porter, who was a basketball player for the Wizards in the 70s and 80s. So, as you can see, when you say something like that, we live in a 24-7 news uh, cycle. So, something like that gets amplified real quick, and then people are, mm -hmm. this guy, like a Rockets reporter, fake reporter on the internet, like, tweeted, it, oh, how can you say this? Then LeBron James saw and he tweeted it and just amplified it way bigger. Basically, everybody was coming to Glenn Consort and trying to get him fired for which I think for what I think is just like a mistake, an unfortunate mistake. Like he should have done his homework and not been in that situation, but like I didn't think it was that big a deal. So my uh overall point is, you know, toast to Glenn Consort because he almost had his life ruined. Like literally, mm. I mean, there's a scenario where that happens and he's like fired and like ostracized from life because of that. And I think that would be totally, completely unfair because, God, accidents happen. And I think it's just kind of just, like, goes with our topic about viral stuff and how, how quickly, like, things just go go viral and we don't really give it a chance to breathe or think of things critically. Because, I mean, honestly, like, if a normal person is listening to that, they'll think, oh, yeah, I really doubt that this guy sat there and said, mm, I'm going to ruin my career right now, right now. What can I say? Hmm. I don't make a joke about this guy's dead father who shot somebody. Like, who would do something like that? And I don't know. It's just like a sign. As I got older, I think, like, the whole thing. What was the like, joke about, though? Things going viral and everybody just, like, quote tweeting something or just retweeting something that happened, like, as, like, a fluid situation. Like, it's just, like, a problem. Like, and, you know, maybe we can get to that more in the in the topic. So, shout out to Glenn Consor. And he's a good basketball movie? analyst, either. I mean, I, I don't. Oh, so good. Out. I was just saying, like, what was the joke, though? Because, like, it sounded like he was lucky to be wrong because if he was right, he would have got fired. Because it was still – Well, his so dad played he basketball, and he was a good player. So he was that saying, was oh, goal. he made that shot just like his dad used to. He was a shooter. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah. Kevin Porter oh, just shit. made the game-winning okay. shot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I'm like yeah. – He bricked that joke on, like, multiple hmm. levels in all okay. honesty. Um, that was oh. the worst part. Damn, that's smooth.